Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today let's ask the question, should you be self-taught as a software developer? All right, so today I want to very quickly answer a question that came in the other day from Ariel Tabuzo Jr. Uh, and Ariel says, Hi, can you give me an advice? I'm an IT staff. I recently resigned because I want to become an app dev Android platform. Can I learn by self-studying or should I enroll in a boot camp or college? By the way, I have no experience in programming. Hope you can help me. Well, first of all, Ariel, I want to say if you have no experience in programming and you quit your job, then I, I, I would not advise that for anybody, right? Maybe if you're still living at home or your parents are taking care of you and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, maybe, but it's difficult to make it as a, as a developer, especially starting out, right? And I wouldn't advise anybody to quit their job because a job is a job. If you have a family, like a lot of us have families, we're not in that kind of position where we can just quit and go do it. It takes a while to get up to that point. But anyway, aside from that, should you go to a college or a boot camp or should you start self-studying? This is a really good question. I've been thinking about this a lot. Over the years, people have asked me, are you self-taught as a software developer? And I always assume, I, I don't have a computer science degree. I didn't learn it in university. So I always say, yes, I'm self-taught. And then I start thinking about it thinking, well, no, there was that three-day course I took back in, in the early 2000s on, on that. And then, of course, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I've done some online courses, I suppose. Do those count? And then the books, I've read so many books over the years where I would just go and I would buy a book and go through it. Uh, and does that still count as self-taught? And by that rationale, is anybody self-taught? The self-taught just means you just went and figured it out on your own. One of the things that we think about software developers is that we all have to be self-taught and self-studying is very important for all of us. Now we might start off with a course. We might start off because it might be overwhelming to begin with. We don't even know how to open an IDE or how to even compile our first program. And in that case, if we can't get it from a book and it's like way over our heads, and in that case, maybe a course would help, but eventually you're going to have to be self-studying. So in my opinion, and this is my, you guys may disagree with me, you should always start with self-studying, right? By the time, again, this is a computer book. I got this off my bookshelf. This is like one of the few remaining computer books I have, but I used to have loads of them. Now if I read a computer book, I'll get it on the Kindle because by the time it comes out in print, it's like it's all, the technology is already too old. And also, in this day and age, it's, for me, it's easier to learn watching video courses and stuff like that anyway. And there's loads you can do for free on YouTube. You can get some really cheap on Udemy, like you know, $10, whatever. They're always on sale. So you can do something like that. It just takes the discipline to sit down and do it. Over the years, I have, like back in two, no, it was like 1999, I went on a five-day Java course uh, for the investment bank I was on. They, there was a you know, they had a course and they were taking, you know, who wants to go on this course? And I volunteered for every course that was available. So I went on a five day Java course and I was amazed at how little we covered, right? For, and it apparently cost like something like a thousand pounds or something to send me to the course, which was ridiculous considering we had to move at the pace of the slowest student, right? And I could have bought a, I could have bought a book for a fraction of that and invested the time and just poured right through it and gone through it. But that's, you know, just kind of the way I learned. Now you got the YouTube videos and everything. Like I would recommend, like if anybody wanted to get into programming, I would recommend first try to do it on your own because you're going to have to get good at self-studying at some point. Even if you take a course, they're not going to teach you everything there is to know about the programming language. You're always going to run into to problems. And a lot of the times you'll go through these books and if anybody's ever done this, you know what this is like. You go through the book, you follow the examples exactly, and for whatever reason it doesn't compile, it doesn't run on your machine, and then you're in Stack Overflow and you're just going through, and that's where the real learning happens. That's what you're going through thinking, why isn't this working? You know, how do I go through that? And it's the hours and it's the time that you put into it. And it's all about self-studying. Um, but again, like I couldn't tell you who taught me how to program because there have been so many people, people I knew that I worked with uh, people, and people that I read online and people whose blogs I wrote and I couldn't even tell you who they were because I would just come across them and then move on or people whose YouTube videos I've seen and you know, it's just, it's always a collaboration and you're always like, 
like a chef, like, like any profession, you take a little bit from here, a little bit from here, a little bit here, and that's what makes you unique as a software developer. So my question to you guys, first of all, if you have any advice for Ariel there, you know, please let them know. Definitely don't quit your job until you actually get some of the skills up if you can, unless you're like, you know, you're really hardcore and you're really sure of yourself. Uh, but um, if you have any advice for Ariel, please put that in the comments and let me know what you think. Is it even possible to be, to not be self-taught as a software developer? Because I think, I think every self, software developer, at least any good one, is, is self-taught at least to some level. Probably, mostly. Anyway, anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. <laughs>